Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Steve with Upstart. Look at what we got for you today. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how we constructed this awesome bath tray. It was gonna be for an oversized bathtub, so we had to make it a tad longer than a normal bath tray. This one measured 42 inches by 12 inches. And we poured in our great deep pour from Upstart Epoxy as always. Mixed in three colors. This was gonna be a tri-color bath tray. The customer wanted three colors and they were beautiful colors at that. We got all our colors mixed up and it was time for that pour. Look how cool this pour is with these three colors just all blending in and doing their thing together. It's almost like a waterfall here. And it just goes to show the viscosity and the flow, the constant flow from Upstart Epoxy. The product is so easy to use, so versatile, and it's really beginner friendly. And that's really our goal here is to get you up to par on how you can pour epoxy and how you can make beautiful and stunning and captivating pieces just like us. So we got everything all poured up and then it was time for the heat gun. We went ahead and heated it up, got torched all of those bubbles out of the way so we could get a better perspective and view of how it was gonna look. Then we went ahead and pulled out our little skewer and we mixed everything up. We let it cure for three days, then it was time to break it free out of that mold. Hammered out the edges here. We got our handy dandy pry tool, which is eh, a putty knife to start. The putty knife merely creates the first impact and separation point because it's durable. Then we pop in our pry tool, which is longer, and it's also made of HDPE. It goes in there and it really separates that epoxy from the tape and the mold itself. So you gotta move it around. This was a longer and a bigger piece, so we had to move it around in there until finally it broke free. Then it was outside. We took the piece out just to clean up all the edges and make sure that the epoxy and the wood were gonna be looking nice and sharp and clean. That's very important. Whenever you're cutting off the edges here on any board or table or anything you're working on, whenever you clean up those edges, you always wanna make sure that you take off any of that excess epoxy that stays on. Then we went ahead and attacked those high points with our belt sander here. It's always good before you're gonna throw it in the planer to get off those high points, just that way that runs through the planer nice and smooth and you don't have any worries or problems with maybe messing up your knives or anything like that. So we ran it through the planer a bunch of times on both sides, that way everything is nice and flat on your board. You always want your pieces to have zero wobble, that way everything is flat, square, and nobody can complain. So after the planing process, we went ahead and hit it with the sander. We started with 60 grit sandpaper on this one and we went all the way up to 320 grit. Then it was time to mix up our materials for the flood coat. So we got some upstart epoxies, tabletop epoxy, got it all mixed up, looked over, made sure there was no dust or nothing on there. And it was time to pour that beautiful flood coat. Just watch how these colors pop. Every time you do a flood coat is you really get to see the beauty of what you've created. That's always a fun part for us. And it will be for you too, as soon as you start pouring flood coats. Drip, drip, drip. So cool to watch. It's always really important to make sure that you get a good overflow of epoxy on your edges and your sides. That way everything is consistent, everything dries at the same time, and it just all comes into fruition at one time and all at the same time, more importantly. And take a look at this. We went ahead and got a really close up view to show you just how Upstart Epoxy's tabletop really, really stuns and impresses every time you use it. The wood, the epoxy is really gorgeous itself, but without that flood coat, it's a different world. Then we took it outside after it cured 24 hours later and we sanded off all those little excess drips that always occur. We use 40 grit sandpaper to do that, get it all off, and we took it back inside after that and we gave it a nice coating of walrus soil on the underside. A little bit goes a long way, so we spread some on there just to preserve that wood. We wanted to make sure because this was gonna be above a bathtub, chances are it could be getting a little wet. So walrus soil really, really serves to protect the wood. Then it was time to place those handles on. We measured everything up, marked our points that we were gonna have to drill in our pilot holes, got those all set up, drilled in the pilot holes, got the hardware all mounted up. Then it was time to sit back and enjoy what we had created. This was a beautiful, stunning piece that you can create too using Upstart Epoxy's Deep Pour Epoxy and Upstart Epoxy's Tabletop Epoxy. 
If you like this video and you want to see more just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell. That way you're reminded every time that we create a super stunning video just like this. Once again, this is Steve with Upstart Epoxy and we'll see you next time.